Very good. So you have identified the reason why you're experiencing hair loss. Now let me share with you how you can use herbs and oils that assist you to regrow your hair. Now this video is part two of a video that I did before. I am not a medical practitioner nor a dermatologist of that sort and so the information that I will be sharing is based upon personal studies, personal experience and also it reflects my biblical conviction. All right. I encourage you to please share this video and if you haven't watched part one of this video please watch part one first and then come back to this part all right so I want to begin with this scripture in Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 7 it says I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field and thou hast increased and waxen great and thou art come to excellent ornaments thy breast are fashioned and thy hair and thine hair is grown whereas thou was naked and bare and so i want to use this text as a foundation as we go forward in addressing now how you could you know regrow your edges and so forth now this text is a promise now that we have identified the causes and we understand that it may have been an internal problem or an external problem and we have made a conscious, a conscious decision to address those problems as well as to stop those practices God has given us a promise in Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 7 he promises that he will grow back over here and we have to believe that promise God has given us the herbs you know for the service of man service to assist us some of the things that you want to look at um, in Rebrewing here, like for example, let's look at the internal. The internal issues, oftentimes, once these internal problems are, uh, are addressed, then the body itself begins that healing process. And so, hair loss is going to be addressed. See, hair is not going to be falling off as before, and you're going to see the body actually, you know, striving, you know, to bring back those here and to revive those cells and I share a video as well as the importance of exercise and all these different things to help with blood circulation and so forth and so now using your hair oils and so forth and herbs herbs like you know like the rosemary's and so forth like um, things like the fenugreek and so forth you know um, by applying these sort of oils fenugreek oils and the rosemary's and so forth these now help stimulate the hair stimulate the uh, the nerves, stimulate the, the scalp and so forth, stimulate the blood to actually go to, to, to say you know what, bring back the hair in that area. So now as it's stimulating the hair, you are now working in harmony with these herbs. So whereas it's now stimulating the blood now to bring the hair back, you are now, you have addressed the other issues, so now you could work in harmony with these herbs, alright? Because just let's look at it into external one if you are using here oil and, and herbs and so forth to address the problem which it has its benefit but if you're still pulling on your hair you're not going to see the true benefit of that of the herbs and the oils you're not going to see it all right you're not going to see it all right so you're, you're, there must be an assistance you do your part and then the herbs and the oils and so forth could do its part and thereby bringing back and now you can claim the promise in Ezekiel 16 and verse 7 so I want some things I want you to consider some things as well now especially in the golden area you don't want to consider if if it if it if the area looks very smooth now if the area is very smooth and shiny that shows that the hair loss the damages have been very 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 extreme all right it may have been that you have been damaging your hair for years and so the cells on them they are to they are very damaged but what I say is impossible for it to grow back no I wouldn't say that because the Bible says that with God all things are possible all right but what you would find is the more extreme the damage the longer it takes to grow so you want to begin by massaging your scalp 
this would help stimulate the blood flow doing it regularly morning and evening you want to get your hair you want to get your scalp to the point where you can actually see the pores opening once the pores are becoming open it's a good sign it's a good sign it's a sign that your <laughs> hair tissues these tissues are being revived all right so once these pores starts to open man that's a good sign and there is still hope <laughs> all right now what is going to actually happen as you apply the oils in that area I want you to keep on like you know spritzing it through water what happened is that because the hair has been damaged the hair that's going to come out is going to come out very fine at first it's going to come out like baby hair you need to keep that area moisturized as possible you don't want that area to become dry the moment it becomes dry it breaks off and you wouldn't be able to see the, the, the hair coming out once you see that hair starting to come out it doesn't mean hey hair comes back out so I'm going to pull it out again it needs extra care now remember you did damage to that hair all right so you have to work and I sometimes you know um, there's not a lot of, a lot of information out there as a result of, as it related to that you know just put that oil no you have to work you cause that problem and you have to now work to regrow that problem you have to do a part you need to put in something so as it's fragile you need to moisturize it often spritzing it with water keeping it hydrated and doing your massages morning and evening doing your massages to help stimulate the blood flow in that area and uh, by and by as I said as the hair begins to come again you be gentle with that area all right now that by the grace of God you would have seen a change all right would you go back to those practices see you in my next video God bless